probably wondering why I just showed you why I milled that up. Um, and there's a several reasons, to be honest with you. There's, um, I've been asked a lot of times about milling up my own lumber because I do a lot of it. And uh, I've heard people complain about, you know, how expensive wood is and things of that nature. Um, but we're going to create a new hashtag today, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> because a lot of people just don't seem to think about it. Um, hashtag branches are wood too, okay? Um, Seriously, they are. The branches just, you know, they don't grow this way. They grow, you know, this way. Um, and so it means a lot of stresses uh, don't happen on branch wood that may happen like on the trunk of a tree, but you still get some absolutely gorgeous wood out of a branch from a tree. Um, I have three species that grow pretty prevalent around my area. Your area, I'm sure, will be different. You'll have different types of wood. Uh, but from that, I just got a piece of free project wood that cost me no more than the effort that I put into milling it up. And I just showed you how I go about doing it. So if you want to do it yourself, you could. Um, but let me give you a quick, uh, let, me, let me pull the camera in over here. I'll show you some local uh, lumber that I harvest um, off of trees, which is basically good conservation. It's good forestry too, because I take the branch, but I leave the tree. Um, and I still end up with free wood for me to turn into different projects. And a lot of you folks who make things for a living, if uh, you can eliminate the cost of the lumber, 
on some of those projects you're making, well, then you're going to make more profit, right? Yeah. Well, let me, uh, let me move the camera over here, and I'll show you at least three pieces of uh, wood that I have milled up from branches, and I'm going to show you how gorgeous this wood is. So take a look. Okay, this is the piece of wood that I just milled up. I'll get to that, more about that in a second. Uh, but these are three woods that are grown relatively locally here in just in my own backyard that I grabbed them and have milled them off of branches. Um, this uh, piece of wood here, even though there's no bark left on it because it was a smaller branch, uh, this is a species known as um, black birch, otherwise known as, I think other people call it sweet birch as well. Uh, this is a yellow birch that came off of a branch. And this is a piece of white oak that I took down off of an oak tree. In my backyard but let me uh let me grab some mineral spirits here and uh, just throw some mineral spirits on the top of this wood and it'll give you an idea of what this will look like when it has a finish on it i don't know if you can see that or not let me get the see if i can get that into focus for you that's white oak uh, let's see what the birch looks like here can you see that it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is the uh, black birch or sweet birch. A lot of not, not a lot of figure as far as bird's eye or curling going on here, but the grain in it is, uh, is really interesting because uh, obviously branches being a smaller, uh, a smaller, you know, in diameter than the, than a trunk of a tree is, you're going to get some pretty interesting grain structure simply out of a branch. And this is the piece that I just milled up. I don't know if you can see that. But that is pretty gorgeous itself. And that isn't even a branch of a tree. This is a piece of lilac from a bush. So yeah, hashtag bushes are wood too. <laughs> this was given to me by a good friend, Jason McGinn. And I have plans for this. So let me tell you about that. This little piece of wood looks a lot like, uh, oh, I don't know, a pen blank. <laughs> That's because I have a few pen kits. Um, and... I'm going to turn this into a pen, this little piece of wood that I milled today. Uh, and, and don't worry, I'm not going to do a video on turning a pen. There are certainly plenty of videos out there for you to, you know, get better advice from than that, because I'm certainly no authority when it comes to turning anything. Uh, but I do know a little bit about finishing. And so I'm going to turn this into a pen, and I'm going to apply a CA finish to it, and I'm going to show you how at least I do a CA finish on a pen, or you could even use the same process on a bottle stop or any kind of small project that you would use a CA finish on. So uh, next week, I'll show you uh, what this ends up looking like when it comes into a final piece. So, you know, in this case, it'd be a pen. And uh, have you guys take a look at that. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys take care. Uh, remember, hashtag branches are wood too. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.